I was reading this book uh, titled The Way of the Superior Man, which I'm going to do a full review on uh, in the next few days or so. But in one of the very first chapters, there was a small section and it talked about how um, you basically backing down to your woman when you have some sort of um, discrepancy that you're having a, uh, and you find yourself ha having a verbal disagreement with her or even it can escalate into an argument. When you back down on your own beliefs, you turn your back on your own morals and beliefs and your own ideas, what you know in your head to be correct. When you turn around and just submit yourself to your woman simply because um, you don't want to argue or because you don't have confidence in yourself, there's a number of reasons why you may back down, but the point is you back down. And not only are you chomping away little bits of your masculinity and your manhood every time you do that, but you're also basically giving her a license to lose tremendous amounts of respect for you because she knows that no matter what she says, she's got you so whipped to the point where she could basically say two plus two is five, but because you don't want to argue or you don't really have enough confidence in your own goddamn head to say, no, I know for a fact two plus two is four and I can show you why, um, you just back down. So she's going to lose a tremendous amount of respect for you. Um, when I was reading that chapter in the book, it reminded me of something my father told me. Uh, I say this was about a year ago, maybe a year and a half. It's, it's been quite a while. But um, me and I, and you know, I have tremendous amounts of respect for my father. You know, I love him to death and I value his opinion. But he said something that was absolutely wrong. Um, he came outside and me and somebody else, some other guy was just basically kind of venting to me about his bitch. And... Um, my dad came outside, he was like, hey, you know, what y'all talking about? You know, just joining the conversation. And he went on to say that, uh, well, remember this, I'm not gonna say the boy's name, but he said, well, remember this, so-and-so, she's always right. Now, what does that statement mean? That means that no matter what you guys are having your um, disagreement about, that she's always right because she's gonna get the last word and she always wins. And first and foremost, that's, that's wrong in the grand scheme of things anyway because um, if you're in a some sort of relationship with somebody, it doesn't even have to be a boyfriend, girlfriend relationship, but your friends, your family, your wife, your girlfriend, your husband, your boyfriend, the only disagreements you guys, or the only arguments that you guys should be getting into should be sourced from a disagreement. So a disagreement means that you guys have two different opinions and it shouldn't be about who wins and who loses. It should be about coming to the truth. You know what I'm saying? Just going back to the two plus two is equals four. If one individual says two plus two is four and other person says, no, 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 it's five. It's all about coming to an understanding to help the other person understand that two plus two is four. And unfortunately, sometimes um, everybody's built different. Everybody's wired different. People have different opinions. People can't prove what they believe to be an opinion. So in cases like that, you agree to disagree, but never as a man do you back down on what you believe to be true, things that you uh, feel are morally just, things that you feel are, uh, are, are things worth fighting for. You never back down to your woman simply because you don't want to argue or because you're scared she's not going to give you no pussy that, that night because you didn't upset her in, a, in, a, in a, you know, an argument, which you know if you're fly, um, and you have dominion over your household, you really shouldn't be getting into screaming matches with your woman anyway, but that's a different uh, story. I've actually done a video on that uh, title, She Disrespects You Because You Can. Uh, make sure you guys check that out. But, you know, it, it, it just really, there's so many people that have that mindset that go along with what my dad said, um, she's always right. And what you guys don't understand is that this is something that just, it goes beyond your marriage because what goes on at home is definitely gonna be what's going on out, out in person. A lot of you don't get respected by other individuals. You don't, um, other people don't value your opinion because they know you're just gonna back down because you're scared of confrontation. Men are never scared of confrontation. We're willing to die for whatever we believe in. Um, you know, and a lot of y'all will do all this backdoor sneaky bullshit. You, you'll say indirect and you're passive aggressive and you wonder why nobody respects you. You do that backdoor sneaky bullshit and you see where it gets you. So this is kind of like a part two to that video to that, video that I was referencing earlier. Um, you will never have success with your woman if she knows that she can control you. You will never have success with her. 
you have to put your foot down and say whatever you believe in. And the thing about it is, even if, oh, I got the little uh, low battery notification, but the thing about it is, if you have an idea, she has an idea, and they're conflicting, if you stand by your idea and she turns out to be right, you still have your dignity left. You can still say, well, I held my conviction and I ended up being wrong. You know, you were right, uh, woman. I'm gonna learn from this experience. But when you bow down, whether or not she's right or not, you've lost respect, you've lost your dignity, and all of these different things culminate together to ultimately, you have lost pieces of your masculinity. You've lost pieces of your manhood. And uh, like I said, you might think that when you're having some sort of argument with your wife or your girlfriend, whatever, it's just better to not argue and just let her think that she's right. But in the grand scheme of things, man, it's horrible for your relationship because you've lost respect. And once you lose respect, from a, especially from a woman, but just in, in general, when you lose respect from somebody, it is almost impossible to get it back. And respect is the very foundation of manhood. If you're not respected, if you don't demand your respect and you don't earn your, earn your respect as a man, you'll never have confidence. You'll never have dignity. You'll never have a sense of conviction. You'll never have morality. Uh, uh, vi uh, uh, you'll never be virile. It's just, it's impossible to have all of these uh, different attributes about yourself if you don't have the precursor of respect following you. So um, I didn't want to make this a long video. Uh, like I said, I definitely recommend you guys to go watch that very first video that I did damn near a year, well, no, it was about six months ago, titled, She Disrespects You Because You Can. It's kind of like a part two to that one, but um, leave a comment down below. I may do a part three. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. Appreciate you guys watching. Peace.